Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So as I said, like uh, clarity is influenced by seven parameters. I have explained the first word in the previous video. So go and check it out. And the remaining uh, I, am, I will be explaining in this video. So the fifth one is like focus and emphasis. So focus and emphasis is nothing but like what we need to uh, emphasize the things like visually what we need to emphasize. So we need to emphasize the most prominent and important things and the central idea and focal point. So to provide emphasis, we need to use some techniques such as like use high brightness, underlining things, blinking, contrasting colors, larger size, all these things. So that means like visually people should get attracted for this. They should get attention on that things. So for that purpose, you have to use these techniques like use some larger size positioning. Proper positioning is also important. Isolation, white spaces, I mean breaks between so and like i said what we need to emphasize so like other thing is like less important things must be de-emphasized and like we need to avoid emphasizing too many screen elements that means if you are emphasizing everything then they may get confused like what is important like that and also we need to avoid screen clutter and don't use too many techniques this is focus and focus and emphasis and coming to the sixth parameter it is presenting information simply and meaningfully so like uh, one thing here is why i'm explaining in detail every parameter is like each parameter may be asked as an individual question for seven or eight marks so like they may ask give a detailed explanation about presenting information simply and meaningfully this may be for seven marks or eight marks so for that purpose you need to learn each and every parameter in detail now coming to this one so we need to provide some legibility it's like a noticeable and distinguishable path and we need to provide readability present information in a usable format and also some displaying features we need to create visual lines be consistent all this so for this purpose i mean for presenting information simply and meaningfully they have provided some uh, topics under it like typography like what uh, what is typography is like using the types and sizes i mean font sizes and all so like generally uh, i mean like uh, when we are preparing our major project documents they have given some guidelines for us they said like use only times new roman and the heading should be some 14 and the content in it must be 12 size why they have specified it because it is the most commonly used and, and easy to read so because of that they have suggested this so in the typography part the same thing here is done like the typeface use type new, ty, times new roman word and area like that and some time uh, types and sizes and every time use only two types that means using two types it reduces this clean clutter and reduces the confusion that means now here in this page i have used some uh, one font i mean the whole page has one font but if i asked uh, one of my friend friend to write this part another friend to write this part like it will be very confusing for you right be to reduce that conflict i have I myself has written this that means only one font style I have used here same here other one is like font types and families this is also just using simpler one makes a readable for, for I mean it, it makes us to read easily and the same thing here don't use no, I mean not more than two families must be used and line thickness capital letters so on all this comes under this and font size also like we should not use more than three sizes that means for headings we said uh, some uh, 14 size and the content under it 12 like that we need to use no I, that means one part you used 10 other part you used 15 like that you should not use and for graphical systems the menus should be 12 point size i mean windows should be 10 points and in the web pages the body text must be 12 to 14 size and the titles and headings must be 18 to 36 in that range and the line spacing that means between two lines the line spacing must be 1 to 1.5 and don't squeeze in more text that means don't uh, like choose less size and try to fit more of more data into that page that should not be done and font styles and weight here like use no more than two styles of same family two weights that means uh, like you can go with a standard uh, and italic bold plus a sand for like some uh, like combinations they have provided like you can go with regular and bold like this 
so use italic only when you want people's attention over there that means in the whole this uh, i mean in the paper if i write something here in italic format now you your attention comes here that means using italic just for attention and if you are using bold it's for attention and for some hierarchy that means if i'm writing like titles all in bold letters now i am maintaining some hierarchy that is that means for headings part and coming to web pages use underlines only for navigation part and the next one is font case font case is like uh, we need to uh, like have button description menu description all these things and use uppercase or capitalization that means uh, for specific words wherever it is required use capitalization and use all lower cases with caution i mean like whenever it is necessary only there you need to go with it defaults for default i mean for graphical operating system use standard system fonts and similarly for web page designs also use default browser fonts that means for specific uh, graphical operating systems and for specific web page designs use the default one whatever they have provided those things itself and for consistency like use i mean same size same weight and color i mean like now here i am using for all the headings black color and content blue color that means i am maintaining some consistency right and coming to paper versus screen reading you know we all are habituated for screen reading so providing a facility for printing a hard copy of doc that means here they said like we should have some facility to print that document and screen elements screen elements is nothing but these should include all the control captions headings and screen titles and guidelines captions and labels that means uh, i mean all the controls we should we have i mean identify the controls with some captions and labels and they should be fully spelled that means if i say doc what it might be just doc or any any other files like that i mean i need to spell it completely it should be document so that everyone will get a clarity right that's what fully spell and we still we have some more things in this to be discussed uh, like we use capitalize uh, capitalization for first letters end caption with colon and all this and data fields data fields is like uh, whatever the entry boxes should are there uh, like they must be modifiable and all and if we have to use normal screen background for enquiry or display part and special symbols so consider some special symbols for emphasis and separate the, those symbols from the normal word words and control section headings that means headings must be properly intended they must be properly displayed and fully spelled and coming to field group headings they must have uh, i mean meaningful headings should be there with provided captions and we need to describe the relationship here web page headings like the these web page headings must be controlled i mean they must have some guidelines under it, under them and page and text headings some hierarchy styles size weights and color so this all comes under presenting information simply and meaningfully just in this video i have explained only two pa two parameters the fifth one focus and emphasis so how to bring users attention towards the screen for that purpose these are the points and other one for um, presenting information simply and meaningfully we need to consider typography font size uh, other one is like uh, sorry font size uh, font styles and weights font case uh, default fonts consistency screen reading part uh, screen elements cap data fields uh, special symbols control section headings field group headings and web page headings so in this i have provided here 15 whatever you remember you can write i mean if it is given for a 8 marks question uh, how many it is required you can write thank you